Hello and welcome to the first video in our series on setting goals. Now the most important thing to realize is this just is a basic overview of setting goals for those of you that don't really know how to go about it. But I highly recommend getting a program that spends maybe six, ten hours on actually how to set goals. Now that's a, of course if you got an audio program or a video program there are shorter books and manuals but it's very important as we're going to talk about in just a second the better the preparation of the goal the better the results will be. So this once again I just want you to understand this is just a quick overview of setting goals. There's some great programs out there by Zig Ziglar and Brian Tracy uh, Raymond Aaron does a really good job in his book and I think in the, the resources center you'll find uh, several of these books listed so once again I just want everyone to make sure you understand this is just the basics and if you really really want to get good at setting goals because the better the goal you set the better the accomplishments gonna be go ahead and do some more research but I think this will be a good overview to get you started and the first thing is start slow now I know you're gonna be excited you, you joined in with the transform your goals in reality and it's time to change your life and you're ready to go and, and get going and the first thing that most people end up doing is they set too many goals and have too many tasks for each goal they'll go great for a week two weeks and then they'll just be overwhelmed and they'll give up because it won't be fun anymore you know that they're gonna not look forward to going in to the software to the goals on track software at the end of the night because they didn't do enough of their tasks and so they're gonna dread it instead of having three goals and one task for each goal like we recommend and you got those done then you're excited to go in there and check them off so just start slow it's just like anything else I mean you can't expect to I don't know, be an Olympic runner, or run, let's better yet just say run a marathon tomorrow. You know, decide today and run a marathon tomorrow. But that's what people do with the goals, is they decide today they're going to change their life and expect tomorrow they know how to do it by following all their goals. And it doesn't work that way. You have to set a goal, a small goal, accomplish it, reward yourself and then build on it and then make a little bigger goal or make two goals but it's it's a skill just like anything else it's a skill and you want to learn the skill of setting and accomplishing goals and then you're going to become much much more effective okay great so let's move on here the why it's all about the reasons and if you're going to accomplish a goal you must know ahead of time what the benefits of that are going to be and you'll find if you go into some of these other programs like I talked about before that might be six hours ten hours long I know they have seminars that are three days long on setting goals and you wonder how, how could it be I mean in ten minutes you can learn the basics but they spend all that extra time on learning the why what you want in life and then you decide what benefits you're going to get out of each of these goals. Is it going to get you towards your your life values or not? And, and that's a whole, whole thing that we don't want to get into right now. But what's important is you have to know the reason of why you want to accomplish the goal. If you just have a goal to do it, the odds are you're not going to do it. Maybe it's a real short goal. I don't, you know, like going for a walk this afternoon, great. But if it's going for a walk every day for the next three months then you're probably not going to do it. So it's all about the reasons. Without the reasons, it, it just doesn't matter. I mean, you'll write the goals, you'll go through all the steps, and nothing will happen. And, well, you know, it's a big bummer. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to go through this work and, and not end up with the answers. So, and lastly, it must be your goal and not someone else's goal it must be your goal and not someone else's goal or once again you're just not going to put your whole heart into it and you're not going to do it okay that's going to end part one of the setting goal series now there was a bit of a wandering in the beginning of this so as we go on to the next videos they'll be more concrete so don't be afraid we'll start getting into the meat of it thank you